guys, it's Lillian. Welcome back to Service Canine Rosie. I'm Lillian. I'm Service Dog and Training Canine. That is my Service Dog and Training Rosie. And today we are back with another video. I'm trying to film as many videos as possible, especially when quarantine is starting to end here. And I'm trying to get out more videos than I did before. Um, because I know that I have been kind of inactive on my channel. And part of being a YouTuber is actually posting. So... We're just, we're, we're just gonna try and, we're gonna do that. <laughs> um, anyway, so today we're gonna be talking about fleas and ticks. What to do if your dog has a tick on them, how to treat fleas, how to treat fleas and ticks, um, and good treatments for that. How to treat a tick bite um, if you get one on yourself or if you have a tick on you. I'm just gonna be talking a little bit about this because all of us with dogs unfortunately have to deal with fleas and ticks um and mosquitoes and gnats and bugs um it sucks but it's part of owning a dog it's part of um if your dog hasn't gotten a flea or tick um either you're like really good at treating them or your dog's not getting enough outside time um anyway so we're just gonna jump right into that <laughs> start off with fleas because I really have less stuff to treat for fleas um but yeah we're just gonna start off with the flea thing and then move on into that so the first thing I have is a fine tooth comb this is a flea comb um fleas cannot get through this this you comb your dog with it um I have a dog head so I'll just comb it like that you know you just comb it along um and you can see that like there's little like you can get dandruff off. Here you can tell I brushed her with it. You can see some of the dark spots. Now that's not fleas or ticks because she doesn't have any fleas or ticks on her currently. Um, but those are like little dandruff pieces um, and stuff and you can get pretty much anything. It's basically like a lice comb that you would use on a human, but it's for like fleas and ticks. Um, so yeah, you can get fleas off with this really good. It's not really for getting ticks off. If you have a tick, I'm going to show you how to get the tick off in a second. But this is great for fleas. Um, I like to comb my dog. Oh my god, why are you in the way? <gasps> I like to comb my dogs with this about once a week. Um, that just to make sure that they don't have any fleas, even though um, they have other flea treatments on them. Um, I like to just comb them with this. Honestly, it feels good to them. It's a good scratching tool. Um, and it's just to make sure that they definitely don't have any fleas because you really don't want that in your house. So next we're gonna talk about how to get ticks off of your dog. So I just showed you with the comb how I get fleas off of my dog. I flea comb the dog. Well, now we're going to be talking about ticks because you cannot flea comb a tick. Um, to remove a tick, you have to get it from the head and pull the entire body out, including the head. Because if you leave the head in there, the head's just going to stay in there. It's going to keep eating at your dog. Um, and it's really gross. Um, so how to remove a tick? You're going to use these. These are tweezers. You grab it by the head, you grab it at the base of the stem, you might pull some hair out. Unfortunately, that happens. Um, it even happens when you do it with human hair. You know, it's, a, it's the same thing. If you have a tick on your head and somebody pulls it out, you know, they're gonna use tweezers and it's probably gonna pull your hair out. I pulled my dog's hair out by accident before. Um, she, she doesn't, it really doesn't really bother her. I mean, I'm sure it's not the most comfortable thing ever, but I'm not intentionally doing it but it's more important that she has the tick off than her having hair, so. Um, but yeah, so you're just gonna take it, you're gonna grab it at the base, so if this is the dog's skin, you're gonna grab it somewhere around there. Um, 
try not to pinch the skin, but you know, it happens. Um, you're gonna grab it as close to the skin as possible. You know, you should be touching the skin. Grab it really tightly and just pop it off. Um, and then you need to take that and put it in a glass of water, um, drown it, do it down the toilet, kill it, you know. Um, takes belong in the toilet, so put them in the toilet. You know, if you really just wanna watch it, um, you can put it in a glass of water and watch it, I guess. That's what we used to do. Um, I don't really know why because that's kind of weird, but you know, it happens. So yeah, that's how, um, that's a great way to remove ticks. Um, I don't really know any other ways um, other than putting Dawn dish soap on it and they'll like completely pull out, but then you'd have to take it and put it in the sink. This one, you just get it kill it you know but um i mean if you have other have other ways to treat ticks then be my guest comment it down below so that anyone who wants to know can can look down below and see that so now that we've talked about how to remove fleas and ticks from your dog how do we prevent them from coming on there well that's simple so for rosie and sammy both um, both of them wear flea collars all the time. Um, I do not put the medicine on the back of the neck. I don't believe in putting the medicine on the back of the neck because it does cause seizures. I've seen multiple dogs um, have seizures because of this. Um, I've heard of a ton of dogs get seizures from that stuff um, and it doesn't even matter if they lick it or not, you know they can get seizures from it and I'm not going, especially on my lifeline, I don't, I don't do that. Um, I considered it at one point because it was recommended to me, um, but I then, with doing more research, I did change my mind about that and decided that because the flea and tick pill is, um, because the flea and tick pill is so, um, so expensive and um, I can't afford that. All of our dogs wear flea collars. Um, it, you know, I believe that when the when the ticks get on them or bite down, it kills them or something. It also like repels them because of the smell and stuff. Um, it's worked really well for us. Um, so I'm really happy about that. The next thing we use to prevent fleas and ticks, because even though they have the flea collar on them, um, sometimes, ticks will still drop onto them and fleas will still get onto them so I use this this is from Walmart it is natural care plus um, is the brand it's made with botanical and essential oils um, and it's all natural um, Walmart does have other flea and ticks them um, they have main two this is the one and then they have a second one um, the second one is chemical based um, this is natural base. I wanted to use the natural base instead of the chemical base. Um, even though I do get migraines and headaches from some of the smells, um, this has peppermint oil and um, I can't pronounce the second one, but it has peppermint oil and it mainly smells like peppermint, so it doesn't bother me. Um, some essential oils give me migraines and headaches. Um, peppermint, thank the Lord, is not one, and I actually really like the smell of peppermint. Um, the second one does give it kind of an annoying smell, but um, it's worked really great for us. Um, I put it on like once a day or, you know, once every few days. It depends on what she smells like. If I can still smell it on her, I usually don't put a second coat on unless like we're going out and stuff. And I know I've mentioned this in another video, I believe, but I'm just going to kind of tell you guys about it. This is not sponsored, um, but... It's really important that we keep our dogs safe from fleas and ticks because they can cause harmful diseases and they're just not good for working dogs. Um, a working dog, you know, if it's a service dog, if it's going everywhere with you, it can't have fleas, it can't have ticks, you know, it has to be clean, it has to be kept up nice, you ha your dog has to be a professional, um, look professional, smell professional, you know, um, it's a dog, they can't be perfect, they can't always smell perfect, but you want to make sure that to the best of your ability, you're keeping them nice and upkept um, properly. I got a bit on my thumb, so um, I didn't have rubbing alcohol, so I was like, crap, what do I do? So I took the next place thing, and ladies, you will definitely have this. Guys, your mom will might have this. If you don't have rubbing alcohol, which most people do, but for some reason we don't, um, 
I use fingernail polish remover. It is like mostly alcohol and yeah. Um, I just use this, it's like from the dollar store, um, but it's just typical nail polish remover and a Q-tip. Um, and I basically dipped the Q-tip in there, got it really, really soaked, and then just continued to rub it on my thumb on the spot and the surrounding area. Um, I did that for like 15 minutes, um, just like re-dipping it, making sure that I got it like really seeped into my skin basically. Um, and then after that I went and I washed it off with soap and I scrubbed it like really, really well and then I examined it and I watched it for the next like 5 to 10 days. Um, and that's just to make sure that um, you're not getting, it's not turning red, you're not getting an infection or anything. Um, and it just, it, it makes it, it makes it safer. Um, and so that's my tip for you if you have um, a tape bite on anywhere else in your body. Um, so yeah. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I really thought that I should definitely, I really thought that I should definitely, you know, um, talk about this and just let you guys know because um, I really think that it's um, definitely very important um, to talk about, especially having working dogs. We need our dogs to be the best of their ability. They can't have fleas, they can't have ticks, and also fleas and ticks can t cause a lot of diseases. I want to make sure that you don't have ticks either. Um, and really, fleas and ticks are a nuisance, and you really don't want to have those in your house. Um, so anyway, I hope this video was as helpful as it possibly could have been. Um, I apologize for the background noise. Um, I think it's finally starting to stop storming. No guarantees there. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the like button if you like this video. Hit the subscribe button for more comment respectful comments or questions or things that help you guys with fleas and ticks down below. Um, Make sure to hit the bell so you never miss a video. Stay tuned because we have our first custom gear set coming in the next few weeks. Um, so make sure to stay tuned for that. And yeah, we will, um, I will see you in the next video.